And so I'm sure. participating in an online contest. It's, it's really just a Fukushima awareness thing, and we're promoting this movie on Fukushima Beach. And these are all the websites. Yeah, Our goal is to get people actively involved. Yeah, because this is to get like informed. Time bomb. Ta please take one of our flyers or take a couple. It gives you information on websites, on where to go, and what to do. The new media. That's we right. Can't trust our government anymore. No, we can't. No, That's we right. And why would they tell us we're going to die? Right? Well, the fact is, until we start talking about radiation, we're not going to solve the problem. You know, so we have and to then talk about up it. And Hanford, too. Oh, know? Hanford, oh, it's please. It's imminent. Who knows what it's just buried. inevitable. At some point, we're going to feel it, whether we like it or not. So we better do this. It's right on the Columbia River. Well, right you know what? Now. Lots of people <laughs> are feeling it in Hanford. Lots yeah. of people up there are sick. You know, radiation makes children born with small brains, and there's oh. lots of children that have defects. Many, many things. Many, 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 many things. Oh, yeah. so. If you look at all the depleted uranium, there's defects over in the Middle East. It's yes. all about the children. It, it is. Yep, it's all about the children. You know? Yeah, I'll check it out. Cause, oh, thank you. And I please do process. call your senators and congressmen and demand hearings. Ron Wyden is hesitating to create a hearing. Henry Waxman has requested a hearing on Fukushima, and we need to actually ask for, you know, somebody like from Beyond Nuclear or Kevin Blanche, you know, people who actually understand from the truth side, not the propaganda side. We need to get those people in front of our Congress they people. They have different levels of millisieverts and vesicles, and nobody knows what that means. That's exactly and right. They're just like those are just numbers to confuse yeah. us. Yeah. Well, thank you, you for stopping. No, you guys did these, right? With I don't know. Some, some kid. I don't know if there's a couple of them. So here, let's take a picture of Jana taking a picture of us. Hey, Jana. She's the world famous videographer from the Eugene Media Group. Awesome human being. Yeah, just fine. We yeah please do walk to through. Have people in in it like right. Shot the people actually checking out the. Look at okay. exactly right. This is going to, we're actually participating in a, a YouTube challenge, a Fukushima protest challenge. That's what this is about. Andrew Abisu actually created these movies. Radiation glasses. Free radiation glasses. And as you can see, some people have unfortunately taken the earplugs. That's right, on Fukushima Beach. That's right. It's super important for all of us to just start getting active. You guys are free to join us on the 28th of September. We're going to go out to Oregon State University and yes. just walk around, peaceful yeah. protest, carry the sign, and call out the nuclear liars that come out of Oregon State University. In New York. He's in New York, and we're in U we're in Oregon. Isn't the radiation hitting the West Coast though? Actually, the radiation is everywhere, and the way the wind blows, it goes up Canada and then back over. Like there's very high levels of radiation over St. Louis and the and the Midwest because the, the way the air currents blow over it, it actually there's a lot of radiation on that. So the middle part of the country, but we're all going to be getting it. I mean, it's you know. When does it? I know that because of the tidal waves. What last year? Yeah, two years, two and a half years now ago. It's finally hitting us. Right, and it's going to be coming. Well, that's in the water, but in the air, like right now. It's already got in July, the number three power plant had a complete fire and a complete meltdown. It went into China syndrome, and I don't know if you've looked, but if you go. The ocean is actually bubbling off the coast of Fukushima because of the China syndrome. It's the corium has melted its way through to the ocean. And so the steam that comes up is radioactive fallout that's in the air. That's why I put on there, do not let the rain get on your body. Because one little gamma ray, what happens with plutonium is it attaches to your bones. And it sits there and multiplies over years and years, which is why it takes 15 to 20 years to present with cancer. So it's super important to protect yourself. I also put on there the book, uh, Healthy Healing Book, so that you can learn natural methods to stave off radiation. Cilantro. If you juice cilantro and you eat a lot of cilantro and seaweed, those are and, um, definitely super super right. pale. And, and actually, apple pectin. There's a lot of like the greens, like 
on drug spirulina and nori and that kind of thing that will um, actually help with um, either you know reversing or inhibiting where the radiation with like the particles would attach. Right. Um, so, but, but there's a lot of oyster mushrooms too. I would seriously not eat mushrooms. Mushrooms have been shown to absorb radiation talking, faster than local, everything. I'm talking local. I, personally, I, I mean, I'm done eating fish, I'm done eating mushrooms, and I'm done eating anything that comes out okay. of a cow. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> That's me. <laughs> well, I hope your radiation glasses help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Don't we love the radiation glasses, you guys? I have a I want to bring a pair for my granddaughter. Oh. Well, you're free to take a pair. One guy came up and took six pairs at once. He's like, can I have six? And I'm like, sure. You want six? Please do. Jan, I was telling you this is a cultural flyer. Look at our fabulous flyer. That's a little help. Well, you guys. Yeah. Super excited. Let's try to move this here. Go to this. September 27th. It's the next. I'm gonna have to like make a weekly calendar for that. One day after, like, we're gonna have a have a Bring your drums. I brought my drums today. Really? Yeah. Drumming. We brought like 10 drums. Yeah, we're working on the tape. The taping didn't go. seem to work. So here we are in Eugene. You can see not many people. So Tom, do you want to be interviewed?